Welcome to Spokane Talks, where you find news, views, and conversation that includes respect for opinions, facts, and diversity. Spokane Talks is brought to you in part by McNeese Wheeler Attorneys, Ponderosa Republican Women, and Rana Payne. Welcome to Spokane Talks. I'm Ryan McNeese. On tonight's episode, we're going to get in the ring for some MMA on the locker room. Next, the National Association of Women's Business Owners on She Says with Stephanie Ragolato. Then, Hello Sugar. Hi, this is uh, Larry at River Ridge Hardware just wanted the opportunity to show you a little bit about our Christmas. We have Christmas tree stands. We have ornaments that you won't find anywhere else. We have the small Christmas lights. We have the tube lights that you can run up and down. We also have a massive amount of snow shovels. Come on out and visit River Ridge Hardware. Hello and welcome to The Locker Room. I'm Justin Reed and with me I have local pro MMA fighter Connor, Connor Asselford and uh, we're going to learn about what it takes to be an MMA fighter and what he has going forward. So uh, can you give me some background? What, what How did you get to do uh, MMA? Uh, my dad put me in wrestling when I was a kid and I kind of stuck with that throughout growing up and then once I was 20 I was looking for another outlet and I just walked into an MMA gym and it kind of took off from there. So what what's different besides from besides from the obvious, you know, wrestling and fighting and punching and all of that? Um, what's different between the two? You know, in a lot of ways they're similar like mentality and all of that, but I guess just there's more aspects to it, so it's more intricate in a lot of ways. You're doing a lot more is really the main difference. So how how would you describe your fighting style? Um, I'm kind of, I, I like the ground, I like jujitsu. I like uh, getting chokes, really is kind of my specialty, but I like to try to do it all at the same time. Do you ever cater your style to uh, the fighter that you're going up against? Yeah, definitely. If you're going against maybe a specialist and he doesn't have very good maybe boxing or kickboxing and mine's better, I'm really going to try to stay in stay on the feet with him. So do you ever watch like film? Is there like film study days or anything like that? You know, the more, the deeper you get into fighting and the higher profile guys you're fighting, you do more of that because there's more film to watch. But say as an amateur or a, a young pro, you there's not as much footage. So you take what you can get really. So how did you um, become a pro? How did that all work out? Uh, just my coach kind of pushed me to take a pro fight. I was just like, teetering on the edge, had a good amateur record, so I decided to take the pro fight, get paid for it. There you go, yeah, because it's, you know, not getting paid for it is, you know, it's not great, but at the same time, if you have the opportunity to, to move up and, and get paid for something you're already doing, it kind of makes sense at that point. Yeah. Uh, so I think a lot of people, when they think of MMA, they think of the head injuries, they think of, of normal injuries, things like, or any sort of injury, but specifically head injuries when it comes to current state with the NFL and all the yeah. issues they're going through. What do you do to protect yourself and um, during fights and during training? You know, I just, I try to train smart and I try to pick my partners that I can trust that I know are looking to be safe too. And just really, just that's all you can really do. Just if you get hit, get a head injury, take plenty of time off, let your brain recover. Because if you're starting to pile up head injuries, I think that's where a lot of it comes. And do you have good support from, from all your coaches? And yeah, our gym, everyone doesn't have an ego and we have a good coaching staff that's going to keep us safe. Well, that's good, yeah, because a lot of times I think you know, the research shows that it's the repetitive ones from you know, getting hit over and over and over again and not getting that break. Um, but it's it's good to hear that at least they're just kind of taking the steps forward. But, uh, well, let's go ahead and take a quick break. Uh, we'll, these, you'll hear some messages from our sponsors. The following is sponsored by our friends and community supporters at McNeese Wheeler Attorneys. McNeese Wheeler is a boutique law firm in Spokane, handling matters in both Washington and Idaho. Areas of law include business law, wills, trusts and estates, family law, personal injury and wrongful death, and real estate matters. For your full-service legal needs, contact McNeese Wheeler Attorneys.
Welcome back to the locker room. I am with Connor Asselford, a local pro MMA fighter. Uh, got a big fight coming up. Yep. It uh, should be, you know, it's October 13th. 13th and where's it at? Uh, the Emerald Queen Casino in Tacoma. So, you know, the place that you always see commercials for all kinds of different fun events going on. So, I mean, that's a big fight. That's a, a yeah. big location uh, with a very well-known name. Uh, this is going to be your first pro fight. You were 8-2 and two as an amateur, and now you're, you know, now you're considered a pro. What, you know, how did this happen? How did this all come to be? Uh, you know, I just got into fighting, had a good amateur record, and my coach was like, well, we have a pro fight for you if you're ready to take it, and I was ready to get paid, so. Where are some of the other places that you have, you have fought before? I fought at the Hub and Liberty Lake. I fought at uh, the Roxy, which is an event center in Hilliard, and I fought uh I fought down in Lewiston at the Clearwater River Casino. So being a fighter can't be an easy thing to do when it comes to your family and friends and people that care about you. What what kind of what has the support been like when it comes from um, when it comes to your family? You know, everyone's been really supportive. It's just everyone is obviously can get uncomfortable and doesn't want to see their kid or their husband or their friend get hurt. But I think everyone's always been extremely supportive, and I'm grateful for that. So has when it comes to after fights and you know you have kids there who enjoy the sport who might be wrestling now or who are thinking about possibly doing something some sort of mma thing in the future what what do you tell kids who are interested in it you know i'd say if they're wrestling keep wrestling maybe come into the gym and take some classes and take it really slow and maybe when you're 18 20 and you've been training it might be a path you want to take so, I mean, because it's 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 safe. I mean, it's it's no it's unsafe than like football. I mean, football is just as dangerous. So, yeah. Why why is it good for when it comes to the athletic side? Why is it good for kids to to be active, even if it m might mean you know wrestling? You know, say with wrestling, it's just a great workout, and everyone could use as much exercise as possible. So, I just think it's a good outlet for kids to go in there and learn something and maybe learn to set goals and get discipline. Well, that's great. Well, I appreciate you taking the time with me. Uh, you know, your, your fight's coming up just very, very soon. Uh, so good luck and good luck to all your future endeavors and all the other fun fights and other fun locations. Alrighty, thank you very much. Thanks for, for joining us here on The Locker Room. Next up on Startup Spokane, something that everybody enjoys, if they're honest. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, sugar. Hi, this is uh, Larry at River Ridge Hardware. Just wanted the opportunity to show you a little bit about our Christmas. We have Christmas tree stands. We have ornaments that you won't find anywhere else. We have the small Christmas lights. We have the tube lights that you can run up and down. We also have a massive amount of snow shovels. Come on out and visit River Ridge Hardware. Welcome to Startup Spokane on Spokane Talks Media. I'm your host, Steve Traben, and I'm joined today with Ramsey Proofnick, uh, founder of Strategy Labs and Hello Sugar. Welcome, Ramsey. Thanks for having me. Yeah, hey, let's start. Before we jump in to Hello Sugar, let's kind of talk about Strategy Labs because the two kind of go hand in hand for you and your wife. Uh, so just give our listeners a quick uh, rundown of what Strategy Labs is. Yeah, so Strategy Labs is a digital marketing agency that launched uh, about a year and a half ago. We really focus on helping brands grow their business through online advertising and leverage data in order to understand the impact that the advertising is having. Yeah, and so you and your wife, actually, you're from Spokane. You moved to Seattle for a while, and you came back to start up Strategy Labs. And um, talk about the story that brings us to Hello Sugar, which is actually sitting in front of our viewers, and they're probably starving every time they look at them. <laughs> but why don't you talk about that? Yeah, so two and a half years ago, we moved back from Seattle. I actually moved back and took an executive role at Red Lion Hotels mm -hmm. Corporation, was there for about two years. And, and during that time, we made a really conscious decision to invest back in the community. And the best way we knew how to do that was through creating businesses and creating jobs. So, you know, it started with Strategy Labs. It was followed through with Hello Sugar because, you know, 
brick and mortar businesses have the great benefit that we get to interact and see customers every day and, and really invest in the community through delivering a product and, and creating a space for people to come together. And so, you know, Hello Sugar is the vehicle for us to deliver that. Yeah. And um, we've got props here, which I'm about <laughs> ready to dive into. But uh, for those people that are wondering what's in those boxes, tell them a little bit about what the product is. Well, so the product is mini donuts. Um, so Hello Sugar, we say, is really a donut experience. So, I mean, the, the whole experience of Hello Sugar starts when you walk in the door and you get to interact with our lively you know, person at the cash register. They get to tell you all your different options. We have 12 different flavors. And then you get to watch your donut get made. You get to watch it get hand-dipped and delivered to you in these beautiful custom boxes that, um, that house all these different varieties. Yeah, and on the top of the box, it even has my name. So it's really, <laughs> really cool. And um, there's a story behind how you came to land on the mini donut experience. And so let's touch on that, and then we'll probably get into that more after our break. Yeah, I mean, I'm a serial entrepreneur, so I've always had a million ideas for businesses to start. And, you know, the donuts came through a conversation around a family dinner where my sister said, oh, wouldn't it be amazing to do mini donuts? And, you know, little did she know I was going to run with that and start doing a ton of research to see what, if it was viable, if there was an opportunity to build that type of business, if people were doing that already. And so we really leveraged um, that research to decide on Hello Sugar. Okay, so stay with us while we um, continue to look at these beautiful donuts that's on Start Spokane on Spokane Talks Media. We'll be right back after the break. The following is sponsored by our friends and community supporters at McNeese Wheeler Attorneys. McNeese Wheeler is a boutique law firm in Spokane, handling matters in both Washington and Idaho. Areas of law include business law, wills, trusts and estates, family law, personal injury and wrongful death, and real estate matters. For your full-service legal needs, contact McNeese Wheeler Attorneys. Welcome back to Startup Spokane on Spokane Talks Media, where I'm talking to Ramsey Proofnick about Hello Sugar. And if you haven't seen these amazing donuts or if you haven't tried them yet, Ramsey, you better tell people where they can find them. Yeah, so Hello Sugar is on the western side of Kindle Yards. We're right next to the park, kind of where the Park and Centennial Trail meet share a building with the Park Lodge and actually share the space with Indaba Coffee. So there's two businesses co-oping that space together and working together. And um, yeah. Yeah, no, that's great. So people can actually have the full experience. They can go in, they can order their specialized mini warm donuts, have the experience of getting them delivered to them, and then can they actually stay and eat them there? Or is it kind of a to-go kind of model? Nope. So we have a full cafe that they can sit in. We have a beautiful patio. A lot of people will grab the donuts and go over to the park. We have running clubs that have formed of mothers that come and get their donuts and then go run the trail and kind of where the starting point. So yeah, a lot of options. No, that's great because exercise goes with donuts for sure, <laughs> right? And so uh, we were talking during our quick break. I mean, I uh, we really advocate in Startup Spokane for helping entrepreneurs. And I believe we actually helped facilitate an introduction to a certified uh, financial institution called Craft3. Can you talk just a little bit about the role they played with uh, with your business. Yeah, as we got you know a few months away from opening, we realized that we were going to need some additional funding to finish the build out, to get the equipment we needed, and make sure we had operating costs covered. So we were able to work with Craft Three. They, you know, were able to get us that financing, put us in a position to be successful, and have really helped us perpetuate ourselves to go into the next location. As yeah, well. that's that's great. And so this is your first location of of a few that maybe you may be dreaming about, but I think you have a second location in the works. You want to tell? Yeah, we'll start, that? we'll start with one more and okay. then we'll see where that goes All from right. there. But our next location is in Spokane Valley. We're hoping to open next year and it's going to have a drive through element, a much larger cafe for seating and, and we'll actually be serving our own coffee there as well. Yeah. And you know, the need for donuts just never seems to go away, right? So that it's a great, it's a great business idea, great concept, and you're getting a tremendous amount of traction here locally. Talk just a little bit about the job creation. I mean, this is, you're, you're helping 
from an economic development standpoint, and you're creating a lot of jobs between Strategy Labs and Hello Sugar. So talk about the impact that you've made. Yeah, I mean, both of the businesses have been well received in the community and help us grow exponentially. And, you know, right now we have over 20 employees between the two with the goal of hitting 50 by the end of next year. That's great. Well, thanks for joining us, uh, Ramsey, on Startup Spokane on Spokane Talks Media. Go visit Hello Sugar. We'll see you next time. Next up on Spokane Talks, Stephanie Regalado will have an opportunity to sit down with the National Association of Women Business Owners. See you tomorrow night, and thanks again for taking care of the painting. I got this. Bye. Weekends are made for painting. Let the experts at Rada Paint take care of you. Hi. This looks amazing. Rada Paint, over 80 years of quality, tradition, and trust. Find it in every can. Welcome to She Says. I'm Stephanie Regalata, your host. I have Margaret Brown with me today. Margaret has been in Spokane for the National Women Business Conference. Yes. Hosted by... National Nabo. Association of Women Business Owners, which is NABO. Mm -hmm. We have a local chapter here in NABO Northwest. We're very honored to host an amazing conference here. Um, and you are the marketing or digital marketing strategist. Yes. And owner of Socialize LA. Yes. Dot com. Yes. So you're kind of jazzy. <laughs> but the cool thing is we were talking in the other podcast about you came on or you started your business about no. I don't know when you started. I started my business 10 years ago. 10 years ago. I became a NABO member about three years into starting my business. And okay. Into owning my business, yeah. And your first conference was, this will be your sixth. In Miami. Or, mm -hmm. Oh, you have gone through six. So, yep. and your husband was asking you what you were hoping to get out of the conference. Right. And how do you know? And I just said, I need to be there. I need to yeah. be around other women business owners. And it changed my life. And I did not... I kept going to the conferences. Mm -hmm. And then shortly after, I started serving on the NABO team um, in social media. So yeah. that's the What history. do you think, how can you say your business has changed since you've been a part of NABO? That are ways that you're comfortable <laughs> sharing. <laughs> um, I say, I, I, it chokes me up every time I yeah. think of it mm -hmm. because I can, vividly remember what my business was like when I started in Nabo. Yeah. And today where my business is at is they're worlds away. And I'm sure, you know, people people come up and they say, oh, you know, your business is I basically they basically think I can't relate to where they are in their business if yeah. they're just getting started or mm -hmm. things aren't going so well. And yeah. I have to I tell them the story. Yeah. And basically Nabo has supported um, supported me in giving me a tribe of women who have been able to be my peer support and I've been able to be their peer support. Mm -hmm. And I've just learned so much. I've been like a sponge at these conferences. Mm -hmm. Everything that we learned this weekend and this week, I will, you know, tuck it away like I have in years past. Yeah. And it will help and impact my business, whether it does tomorrow or in a yeah. year, I'll remember something. It's always a leveling up. This yes. is my fourth conference, yeah. and every time yes. it's, we were joking about it being like a Grateful Dead, where you get a, yeah. you have to travel with this tribe of women yes. and and bring new women into it because it really is. When we were talking about the climbing, a woman in business climbing right. or leadership the mountain, and no matter how successful high up she gets, yep. reaching She's back reaching down, reaching back for someone else, and yep. pulling someone else up. That is the epitome of what Nabo, Nabo is. is. Yeah. So if you don't know what Nabo is, just yeah. Think about that, and that's yes. exactly what it is. We're going to take a quick break and hear from our sponsors, and then we'll be right back with Margaret. Welcome back to She Says. I'm Stephanie Regalado with Margaret Brown. What does your business do? What does Socialize LA do? First of all, it's like the coolest sounding thing. Oh my gosh, ever. I love that. Well, and I want to say that Socialize LA, although we are based in Los Angeles, right. we serve businesses across the country. Yes. And to me, going to New York is just as local as anything else. <laughs> right. Because that's just the world I live in. But yeah. um, 
So Socialize LA, we are a full service digital marketing agency. So mm -hmm. we become the social media digital marketing department of our clients. That's okay. a very large part of our business. Mm -hmm. uh, this year we launched the membership site, Flex Your Influence, hashtag Flex Your Influence. And that's where we support women business owners, all business owners, but yeah. I will say most of our members are women. Yeah. And we support them to keep them accountable to do their digital marketing. So it's at a $47 price point to start, and then there they have access to ask us, the experts, questions, right. which is unreal. So yeah. we're well, having you give great so much successes. away. I mean, people can just check out your website, socializela.com, and yes. see all the things that you offer. Yes. Um, just to help people yes. get started in their yeah. toolkits and planning, et cetera. So. Absolutely. And I, I want to support. I want yeah. to support businesses. And I know that there's going to be a core people who just take the information I give them and run. And good. Yeah. I'm glad they can do yeah. that. But anyway, um, the last part of our business is I consult with other companies as their outsourced CMO. Oh. So where they might not want to hire a chief marketing officer yeah. or they need someone to just focus on digital, yeah. they can outsource me and Socialize LA and we can help guide that arm of mm -hmm. their marketing. And yeah. so that is a really wonderful thing. And then we get to work with um, larger companies mm -hmm. that we're not executing their social media, right. but we get to give guidance and motivation yeah. to their teams. That's so. so perfect. If you could give two tips, two main tips. To Engage. Business. Engage with your audience. Don't post and expect everybody to flock to you. You need to be part of the conversation that's related to your industry, your community, yeah. and it's just like networking. You don't yeah. stand somewhere and wait for people to come to you. Yes. You need to engage. And we, we can only do one now. But that's brilliant. Go to socializela.com <laughs> for more. Thank you for tuning in to She Says. Cindy Haval is a freelance columnist and correspondent for The Spokesman Review and author of War Bonds, Love Stories from the Greatest Generation. The view from her porch is usually sunny. A strange affliction has overcome many of my friends. It began with vague murmurs about high cholesterol and genes being too snug. Soon discussions became peppered with talk of body pump and kickboxing. Suddenly marathons were being mentioned as casually as muffin recipes. Just ran five miles, a friend texted. Who was chasing you, I asked. I don't understand running for running's sake. Now, if you have the ball and you're headed for the end zone, running makes perfect sense. Or if you're being chased by a pack of rabid wolves, running seems an appropriate response. Ditto heading out the door for Nordstrom shoe sale. But to deliberately lace up your shoes and run when you're not even it? Well, that's a mystery to me. Don't get me wrong. I understand the importance of a regular fitness routine. I walk three and a half miles several days a week. In the winter, I, I go to the gym or wear bulky sweaters. I even lift weights. His name is Thor. He's my 17 pound tubby tabby cat. But after hearing about the euphoric sensation of running runners high and the Zen like spiritual benefits of running, decided to add a little zip to my walking routine. Actually, I had to. I stepped out into traffic on a busy arterial and I had to run to escape being hit by a school bus. But since I was already running, I kept it up. I ran an entire block. This isn't too bad, I thought. I slowed my pace to a steady jog, but soon my heart started pounding uncomfortably. My knees started aching. And then I felt a suspicious moisture on my forehead. I was sweating. I hate sweating. I had now run four blocks with no sign of runner's high. And then a drop of sweat dipped into my eye. That really stung. My motto has been, if it hurts, it can't be euphoric. I slowed. My legs were rubbery, and instead of walking, I was wobbling. And that spiritual connection my friends raved about? Well, I finally understood what they meant. I prayed for strength to get home. At last, I got to my front door and collapsed on the sofa. I learned an important lesson that day. 
Nothing ruins a good walk like running. And that's the view from my front porch. Thanks for joining us this week on Spokane Talks. See you next week for more news, views, and conversation. Spokane Talks is about you. Give us your feedback and comments at info at spokanetalksmedia.com. Spokane Talks is brought to you in part by McNeese Wheeler Attorneys, Ponderosa Republican Women, and Rada Paint. We'll be back next week with additional news, views, and conversations. Please join us. So long for now.